you don't know, uh, Damien Morton has made the Under-19s World Cup, which is in India this year, so we're just going to do our best to prepare him for that. Shot, shot, Welcome back to another week of GCTV. I'm Webby. With me, Lee. And I'm the Ox. Now, that's it. Round three's done and dusted, and what a round it was for the Ghosts, only dropping one game. Uh, as well as that, it's been another week, and another week without hearing from the quarter. So, um, I was in Woolies the other day, and I picked you something up in the quarter. Excited about the release of the new Eminem album? Uh, a little bit surprised, but um, very excited at the same time. Now, Scotty, you've said that primary school has a big influence on you. Uh, how do you see that coming into this year's season? I think so. I think a lot of players are going to learn from, from year one, um, and especially some of the blokes in our squad. So, Scott, have you been working on, on your vocab? What's some of the new words you've learned this year? Uh, I learned quite a few, to be quite honest. Um, one of the ones was just belonging. Now, Scotty, um, that's a good word, but have you learnt any other new words? Um, just belonging. Um. Now, there's been a lot of hype about you getting out on Ravi One with Tristan Muir this year. Uh, what are your thoughts and feelings about that? I'm excited. I think I'm more excited for him than what he actually is. Um, yeah, we've, we've played first grade together, so we've played a bit of cricket, but to do it at the next level, yeah, it'd be something pretty special. So with all the youngsters coming through at the Ghosts, are you looking forward to making some new mates, Scotty? I just want to play some good cricket. Thanks for joining us on GCTV, Scotty, and good luck for the rest of the season, mate. Thanks. Now at the end of the year, presentation will roll around and no doubts we'll be hearing about the tireless efforts of those who volunteer for the club. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright, Crash Course Cricket Round 2, here we are. Introduce yourself to the boys, mate. Uh, I'm Josh Appleton, uh, I third grade. Uh, Josh is going to give Richo's time of 102 a crack here. She'll be a walk in the park. But that, that chick, I'll tell you what, 39 seconds, going to be hard to beat. You reckon you can do it, mate? Oh, it's a lot of pressure, but I'll do my best. And we'll help you out, don't you, mate? All right, let's give this a go, Josh. Stand him up. All right. Three, two, one, you're on. Where have you stopped the clock or something? Just give him a, just give him an advantage. Gloves are for losers. Yeah, gloves are for the weak. <laughs>
So there it is, Crash Course Cricket done for another week, and we've had some pretty nippy times too. Now just summarising from last week, in the cheats, we've had cheats go around at 39.99, and that is rapid. I can't see that being beaten all year. Nay, season. Where are we? A flawless run by Cheeto, well done mate. Um, Richo, got it, the big fella got around in a minute though too. Good start by Richo. Yeah, you'd think he's that fat that inertia would just take him around the course in record time, but that did nothing for him. That's it. Now we've had the, as you saw, the international import, uh, the Scott go round. Now is she above or under cheats? Pretty obvious, she's underneath her, the Scott. And she's gone through at a time of 52, and that's alright, that's alright. Yeah, not too bad. Um, so this week for the Ghosts, we had a Big Apple step up to the plate, taking on Richo, and he is beating Richo. Narrowly, might I add, with 59 seconds. Well, on apples, you take the lead for round two. So that's two scores from the boys, two from the girls, and the girls are killing it. We're going to bring Big, big Benny Burke out next week. Uh, I reckon he's got, he'll push cheats as far as any ghost can, mate. Yeah. But, yeah. So there it is, Crash Course Cricket for another week. The, the ghost came, came in a win today, today, and that's just what we're done. done. We've showed you boys just how to play, and now we'll have some fun. So pack your kits, let's go have a look. Ghost fans, here we are, pack your kits. We're with Tyler, Tyler how are you mate? Yeah, fine. Now tell us a bit about yourself mate, how's the season been going? Yeah, it's been going alright. Just um, a few off the season, a few games in the second grade and come up this year from Wollongong, so... Uh, that's good to have you on board mate. Now, so pack your kits, the grey nick here. Uh, what have we got? Open top. Uh, it's pretty neatly packed, I like to keep my things neat, so I've got the bats on top. Yeah, the bats. And we got one of these. Peptides. And a bollock. Alright, you got your bat, your pads, your gloves, you're good for this weekend, mate. Cut it, Wendy, cut it. So, this week we have a brand new segment on GCTV called iPod Idol. Simple concept, iPod Idol. The players from the Ghost will choose their favourite song. They'll then sing that song with a pair of headphones on. We film it and we have some laughs, don't we, baby? It'll be funny, because they got the headphones on and can't hear much. Let's have a look. You think I'm pretty without any makeup on. You think I'm funny when I tell the punchline wrong. Well, play you let me so I let the walls come down. Down. Before you met me, things were so right, but things were kind of heavy. You brought me the life now every February. You'll be my valentine Valentine Let's go all the way tonight No regrets Just love We can dance Until we die You and I Will be young forever You make me Feel like I'm living a teenage dream The way you turn me on Let you put your hands on me in my skin tight teens Be my teenage dream tonight, tonight, tonight So this week for GCTV we're lucky enough to be joined in the sheds for the first grade song against, for our win against Blacktown It was a great atmosphere really, uh, the boys just had a big win against Blacktown And some of the juniors came in and it was, it was real special for a lot of the boys so let's have a look at that now
Oh, shit. All right. Hey, you young blokes. Hey, you guys. Get out. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. So there it is. Ghost TV for the week. Before we get out of here, though, it's time for the weekly wrap up. Now, we'll start with first grade, and it's been a great two weekends for the Ghost. Uh, we took on Black, uh, Bankstown sorry, this week in the two day format. Uh, we rocked up. Uh, day one, it was absolute belter of a pitch, and the boys came together perfectly. And we, yeah, we got rid of Banks down for 171. Uh, Scott Coyt with four, and BJ took three towards the end. Um, we then had about about the rest of the session, and special credit goes to Josh Clark with 22 from 135 balls. And yeah, it sounds embarrassing on paper, but he did the hard work and he set the win up for us. We then came back the following week, um, and we batted the entire day. Scott Coit again. 130, um, killed it. He just he made them look like under 12s. Uh, Adam Coy as well, and there was 74, and there was a great win for the Ghosts. Uh, in the T20s as well as that, we took on Northern Districts two weeks two weeks ago, and in probably my best win for the Ghosts, uh, we posted 157, and then we defended that, restricting them to 155, I believe it was. Um, with the ball, we only actually took one wicket. Nathan Brain getting that one. The rest was just unreal fielding. Uh, we got two runouts, and it was just a great team performance. Uh, and then we took on Blacktown as well in the second T20, and that was that was a great game. We really took it to Blacktown. Uh, Adam Coit with 72, Mortz with 42, and Scott Coit again with three for 12, set the win up, and yeah, we did it quite comfortably to make it two from two, and a great two weeks of cricket for the Ghost first grade. Webby, tell us about second grade. Uh, second grade, another disappointing loss to second graders. Um, the first day we the, we bowled to Bankstown and they ended up getting out of about nine for 220. Um, at that stage, um, we just got two wickets for T. Um, then the, due to an umpire rule um, unawareness, I suppose you could say, um, we came off for T. They then had time to settle. We came on and the last pair got another 80, which is 7 to 300. Um, special um, mention to Tristan and myself for three weeks each. And then in reply, we got only 110 the next week. So let's not talk about that anymore. Third grade. The third grade. Uh, it was a great win for third grade. With Bankstown only being able to post 134 with great bowling from Josh Appleton picking up three far. Yeah, Joshy! Uh, well, the Ghost then came back the next week and were 6 for 192. Sneaky Pete getting 55. Uh, PJ getting us home with 36. And yeah, the boys did it comfortably in the end. However, also with the ball, uh, young Chris Inger taking his second five in a row. And not just you know, come on in and clean up the table. Tail. He's taken five wickets at the top of the innings, two rounds in a row, and Josh Pup still won't pick him in PGs. I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, Pup reckons he's unavailable, but I don't believe it. So, Chris, I'm calling you out, mate. Come in, help PGs out. Gibbo's opening the bowling. Go talk about together, fours. mate. Talk get about fours. Uh, fourth grade, Banks down a dig with um, 7,337. Um, Hawksworth making 99, with little Nathan Hill going too far on a belter. Um, we had a job to do, <laughs> and they even reckon more. <laughs> Cameron Vinskin. Uh, what a great knock, got us um, got us to a draw um, with, with uh, fourth, grade, fourth grade, with his first ton for, with 103 not out. Um, our favourite Ghost of Heads, picked him, picked him with a 25, good to see him getting some runs coming all the way from where he is. What a 25 it would have been though, yeah. alright? Uh, um, <laughs> can you say fifth grade off? Yeah, I can tell you about fifth grade mate, because first grade actually went down and had a look. Yeah, because yeah, that's the sort of club we are. Uh, fifth grade, we rocked up uh, round two, needing 241 to win. Come on, Banks down, chuck another couple on the board, we just did it easy in the end. Uh, Braden Evans making 72, and little Tommy Tompkins with 48. I'm not sure that's his first name, but it sounds alright. Um, a big mention again goes to Todd O'Keefe. Got a howl over a decision, but he walked straight off, didn't say a word. He actually made it from the pitch to the fence in eight seconds, Webby. He sprinted off. off. Well, yeah, he didn't catch himself. Reckons if he said a word, that was it. Game over. Four weeks. See yeah, you he's after the spirit of cricket with the ghost. Thanks, Doddy. That's just the sort of club we are, isn't it, Webby? That's it. Alright, round things out for us, would you, Webby? Cut there, mate. So before we finish, I should send a special question to PGs. They've had a good first two wins. First one against Blacktown, second against Northern Districts. Well done to PGs and a good winning culture from the Ghosts. It is a good winning culture and we'd like to wish all the Ghosts luck this week as 1s, 3s and 5s take on Parramatta at home. 
and we'd like to appeal to all the players out there to come down Sunday as PG's and first grade have a T20 against, uh, who is it? St. George. St. George, of course, the Dragons. The Dragons at home. She'll be a belt over day, so get down here. Uh, the main stage starts at 2.30 and that's what we all really want to see. Uh, so there it is, another week for Ghost Cricket TV. Now, just a quick little note to end on. As we mentioned at the start of the show, Damien Mortimer will be captaining the Australian under the 19s. So when these little kids rock up to this club, someone chucks them a fat paycheck and they disappear for half the year. When they only play four games a year, we don't worry about it. Because ghosts haunt together.